In today's review we have the newest iteration from small compact sliders. It's called the YC Onion Chocolate 2nd Edition with the burger pan head. And yes, we'll go straight into an unboxing, make an in-depth review and check if this slider is made for your production. As you know, I am a really big fan of slider moves. And yes, I am using the SlidePod Pro with the Moza Aircross 2 mounted on it to get that motorized slider shot. Well, this can replace in a small form factor also that moves. Yes, I like them so much and you can do slides and also pan controlled with your smartphone or actually control on the buttons on the YC on them. So let's get started and get deep in this new slider. You'll get two boxes, one for the chocolate slider and one for the burger. In the chocolate box you'll get a chocolate slider with instruction manual, holding pouch, USB-A to power connector. In the burger box you'll get burger pan heads with USB-C cable, instruction manual and two types of ring mounts for it. In the box I got the MPF 550 battery pack to power the chocolate 2nd edition. The slot of the battery is meant to be as pocketable as possible so they went for a slide-in battery design. Smart. Practically, with this battery you will be able to power the slider for an approximate of 3 hours or if you connect it to a power bank of approximately 10,000 mA, around 15 hours. More than enough. The weight of the chocolate slider is 904 grams and yes, you can mount up to 20 kilos of horizontal slide. If you go to a 45 angle degree, you can mount 3.5 kilos on top of it and if you are going to a 90 degree, you are mounting and you are actually allowed to mount 2.5 kilos. The slider have four integrated buttons to be controlled manually, without using the app, or actually using the app that's available for Android and iOS users that will allow you to connect your smartphone and get an easier way of controlling it. The burger pan head offers the option to be powered with the MPF style battery or with an USB-C cable to have it running. In this case I am using the bigger MPF 970 that will give me a really long usage time. The app is specially designed for the chocolate 2nd edition and for the burger pan slider. Yes, it's really simple so let's dive straight in. Ok, so you can use the slider without the pan head to have the slider left to right or actually up to down or whatever is your idea. But with the included motorized pan head this makes a great option for my favorite robotized movement. You will be able to select the video or time lapse mode. Set the starting point for the slide with the arrows. Select your center pan movement pressing the A. Set the ending point for the slide with the second arrow. And set the pan movement with the R to finish. Pressing B or A depending on your pan movement you want. Press video and you are ready to go. Playing backward and forward just with the B, A or A, B switch controlling the speed and having the option to pause simply like that. One of my favorite way to actually use the slider is to have a second big camera operator that's your slider with your camera mounted on top doing the slides left to right and actually tracking your face and have an actual cinematic interview with your big camera. So switching back and forth to your actual big camera that slides left to right. And this is just a test and this is how it looks when filming with two cameras and your second camera operator is actually your slider. Let's have some test shots made with it. One of the slight disadvantage of this slider is actually you can hear the motors running the slide and the pen movement. It's not actually so loud, but if you are holding your microphone close to it, you can hear the buzz. And I was always advised to actually use it a little more distant from my microphone at around 1 to 1.5 one meter and you should be fine. The chocolate slider has 4 1 quarter screw mounts on the bottom, with one 3 8 mount. On the burger pan hand there is one 3 8 mount and one cutter mount, so you can attach some accessory like a light or anything that came into your mind. The burger pan head have also the shutter port if you want to make time lapse controlled by your motorized pan head. This slider is really small with a dimension of 10.5 inch end to end and around 6 inch or 15 centimeters of slide. Small but this doesn't mean that you can do just awesome things with it. 
it also depends on what lens you will be using with. Longer lenses will give you the feel of a bigger parallax pen slide. After checking all the footage I can't really complain about anything. It's stable, simple to use and I didn't notice any vibration. YC Ronin also adds the option to put your gimbal mounted on it, like the Ronin S, RS, Weebl S, but at this time of filming I wasn't able to connect it, because this have its dedicated app and that's what I use for it. Maybe a future update will allow this function to work. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer them all. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and if you want to check my other slider reviews that I made in the past, the links will be also in the description. Thanks for watching.